Welcome back to the show, everybody. Mr. Pop That Thing. That's me, the one on the triple the GLD pounder, please. Yes, you know, that's my main man, the Green Mind Squishy, a.k.a. Squish Murder in the congregation. Man, they indeed be praising. Of course, I can't forget about my ladies of rage, Bessie, Janine, Magdalene, and your girl and mine, Miss Marcy, a.k.a. Miss Marceline, hold down those unos, doses, thraces, and quattros, but most importantly, you. Yes, yo ass, you. You live right here with us right here on Team GRF TV, and oh my goodness. Just finished watching Papa Sakurai talk about that boy Young Steve from the Minecraft all up in your ultimate. And I'm sitting up here like, I'm going to be for real though. I felt a different vibe than I normally feel from Sakurai when these things come up. Because like the last time I literally felt this vibe. Is when this man took 30 minutes to explain to you how important Terry Bogard is as a character to video games, period. But at the same time, when I really think that when Terry got talked about, like that was kind of a deeply personal thing for Sakurai because of how much the Neo Geo and how much games like Fatal Fury and the King of Fighters meant to him. This is more of... I love this game Minecraft, and now because of the power that be at Nintendo and Microsoft and Mojang and Not Notch and all this old stuff... I get to interact with an IP that I love in a way that I never have before by bringing it to this game that means a lot to so many people. And that's kind of like where my baseline is of really understanding. Because again, we've had two days of the initial shock of you got the two sides of the ball of, oh my God, what the fuck? That nigga Steve all up in the smash. And the other side is, what the fuck is this character taking a slot from somebody that I want? And I understand it from both ends. So let's take it from side B. We'll take it from side B because for real. Like, yeah, you know, everybody needs to yeah. I would love Shantae to be in Smash. I really think she deserves it. There are the whole bunch of games that Shantae should have probably gamioed and guest started in. Hasn't yet. And I really hold hope that Smash is the game where you really get a chance for, for the whole world at large to know what's up with Shantae for real. My boy Gino been getting passed up for years and, and I'm going to be honestly for real. Real talk. If Super Mario RPG and Gino wasn't a thing that was wholly mostly owned by Square Enix, Gino probably would have been in Melee, probably. Like, at best, Melee, if not Brawl, if that was the case, but I don't know what's up with Square Enix and how the hell they deal with that, or why do they wish to deal with it that way, but we still don't have Gino beaming fools, so I don't know about that. Makes no sense to me, but, you know, we still got one, two, three, four more characters, so... Given that Steve from the Minecraft is all up in your ultimate, anything is possible. Of course, you got Uncle slash Papa Dante. It's like, you know, it is what it is with that. I'm like, given that Steve from the Minecraft and Minecraft, I think Dante has a lot better chance than a lot of other people you guys want. So I'll give you that. And Sora, I'm like, well, again, that's another Square Enix thing. But really think about how much love that Square Enix allowed Cloud to have in Smash Ultimate and really sit up her and really think about do you want Sora? Then also think about the thing that just made me remember you have to also deal with Disney. So, um, um that's looking a little bit low. Looking a little bit low on the totem pole of things that this game could probably do. But even given that, just throw that in a box, or whatever. Let's get back to what I was talking about about this geek sesh that Papa Sakurai had when he sat up here and we're talking about the boy Steve. I'm like, I'm gonna be for real though. Like, yeah, Steve, probably Steve, like Steve for like the first couple weeks gonna be mad OP. <laughs> he gonna be mad OP, son, mad OP. Like, I really honestly think once people like get into that motion and understand like how Steve works, is that, yeah, Steve gonna be OP for a minute and not be OP because of everything that he has or Alex has, or Enderman, or even the zombie has, because, you know, let's mention all of them. It's more of the misunderstanding of the matchup. Because a lot of times when people scream a thing is OP, it is a misunderstanding of the matchup. And also a misunderstanding of you not understanding the damn character in the first place. And I really think that with Steve coming out and weakening some change, like when that first hit, the internet will be screaming to ban this character. Because, again, like, I get it. Like, I understand, and I understand this. Like, when I really went look, look back, when they were screaming Hero was busted, he was. 
was. He was, and I will admit, he was busted. But I think some of that bustedness really came from the misunderstanding of the character themselves. That's just me personally or what I think. But again, I don't play this game professionally or competitively. I played with the Kirk's Fallen 10 minutes on the stream that is archived somewhere on the internet. I don't know where. So... I'm probably not the correct person to be saying this, but that's just me and understanding that I've been playing fighting games since the second of ever, and a lot of streaming a character is broken is a lot of misunderstanding things from both sides. And then you have Ivan Ooze, but I'm not going to get into that either. Again, back to my point, though. I could feel, like, the happy that Sakurai was having when he got a chance to show off Steed. Like, I'm like, I was bugging up. Like, when they sat up here and talked about Steed double jump, bro. He said, Steed, 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 like this. Steve on the ground, Steve just go like this. And I'm just sitting up here like, why, though? Like, yo, his, his double jump hella dumb, but his single just go, uh. And I'm just sitting up here, I'm dying laughing. And I, I'm like, and it's like, it's not that, that I'm dying laughing because this character can barely get off the ground because he's trying to be true to Minecraft. It's more of the way of the presentation of how this got to be of the character on the floor like this and he barely get off the ground. I was dying. But even given like everything they did, I really think that they really captured the essence of what Minecraft and the game that is spawned like it all when it comes to hunting down materials and crafting things and the and the elegant way that it works it's like mind-blowing to me because when you sit up here and, and close your eyes for a second because i will just for the for the sake thereof and really think about all of the characters in this game and like how much variance there is like we got a we got a game with multiple Street Fighters in it, a Fatal Fury slash KOF character, Bayonetta in the mix. We got Sonic the Hedgehog in this mug, and we could go on and on and on. I just just want to rattle off those examples of like how the different variants from where these characters come from, and how you really think that all of the essence that makes those characters tick, that make them what we love about them bleeds forth in the game that we play. And I'm like, again, for somebody who didn't play Minecraft for maybe four seconds in between, what, the Java version of Minecraft, which literally got a mention straight from Sakurai, which was more of that nerd coming out of him. And then also, on top of that, I played it on PS3 for like two seconds because I bought it. So Robus 247, when he was the little Robus 247, could play it. So my Minecraft is limited. I got more time in Dragon Quest Builders, bro. So it just is what it is. Everything about Steve is on here lies. I'm like, I want to get in the lab. Because <laughs> it's like, yo, set a TNT box, yo, and light the, and light the match and blow the joint. You know, just in the per Why? Like, yo, you can build a mine car out of the stuff you build. I'm just like, they didn't literally thought of everything. And even giving more on back into that more competitive mode of understanding it, that I really don't think the Minecraft stage will get no play normally. But even understanding and knowing when it has, when you have your battlefield and your Omega versions, that things are balanced and the same. So it's like, more than ever, Sakurai is thinking about how this game is played at a high level with your galaxy brain about being like, well, every Minecraft stage is the same. Well, if you're mine here, it will always be this. And I'm just sitting there like, the dude has thought of everything Give me a second. I need a towel because it is hot with this light beaming on me. I do not apologize. I don't care. I'm not sweating a death for you, internet. Do not ask. I want to know. I, I, I'm interested when Steve drop. I am literally interested in like what this is like. I'm honest. Like I could give two shits about Minecraft, yo. It's like Minecraft ain't my thing. As an old ass man, Minecraft ain't my thing, bro. But Steve look off the meter. Like, I need to know about this character because I want to know more about this character if for no other reason that I want to reward Sakurai and his geek love of this thing that he loves, of understanding how much heart and soul was poured in this between him, the team, and Sora, everybody at Nintendo, everybody at Microsoft, everybody at Mojang, 
and everything that Minecraft is and how game changing Minecraft has been and still is. Because again, I'm gonna wipe my head again because we're about to get into the main event though. Main event. You you thought it was steep. No, but we're gonna get in there. But listen, when I really think about like the ways that video games have been surfing recently, what? Fall guys popping, everybody and their mama playing Among Us. It's crazy. Like I remember when it was all Minecraft everything. Like, I remember that time we were surfing Minecraft. Like, when, like, cause I remember like when Minecraft came out on Java and it was cool. And then that one day when the wheel turned and like the world knew about Minecraft. That's like forever ago. That boom probably older than somebody who might click on this video, fam, for the guy. Like, that's crazy to really think about like how long Minecraft has been in the lexicon of existence of how much it is done as being the video game. The video game of the last, what, that can't change? That's dumb. But Steve look dope. Y'all gonna scream he mad broke and then he might get nerfed a little bit, but I appreciate what Steve bring to the table and it's like, Understanding and all like we talked about earlier about diversification and the variance of every character on that roster. Even when you got clones and things like that, everybody, everybody hit different. And, and, and that's what I really have always appreciated about Smash, especially in this ultimate version. That everybody hit different. That no matter who it is you select on that character select screen, that is steadily and still growing. I'm like, again, okay, let's sit up here and really think about like where we really literally come from like the first character the first dlc character got now for the game was a plant cuz Veridi would be proud plants family pa plant everybody was getting hyped for plant yo and then joker came out the cut and then it was hero and it's just like when you really think about like when banjo kazooie hit it was over like the thing that probably again like like i said earlier when i talked about gino if Rare was still in the family. Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie probably would have been a broad character. Because, because, and, and hear me out on my theory because I'm going to wrap this. Ice Climbers was like the test. Like in an alternate, in an alternate universe, Ice Climbers was the test of multiple characters. Even though Banjo and Kazooie, the, them both function as one character, about having multiple characters in one, how they really flow, Ice Climber was the test. Banjo and Kazooie would have hit that. Banjo and Kazooie would have hit next. If not, and if not Banjo and Kazooie, a Diddy and Dixie team, probably, which is what the streets have been wanting for years, though. But, you know, you, you can't get that. And I don't know, like, what Dixie could literally, and it's like, and I'm going to say this, and I, I'm probably breaking somebody's heart. My DC Kong, that's my girl. That's my world. Like, real talk. Like, yeah. She changed my life, yo. I went my head back and forth. We're not going to get into that. I just don't honestly know. Like, in my head, I, I can't function like what Dixie Kong as a character could be. Diddy got a lot more to ball from because he was in Donkey Kong 64. Dixie didn't have that. She got, that got thrown a tiny. So it was what it was. So it'll be a wonderment to see, like, if they ever get around her in this lifetime or the next, what can you really do with that character? Rap. That's just all I'm saying. Regardless of that, we need to get to the main event because I done talked about the boy Young Steve. Young Steve. So shout out to the boy Young Steve. Shout out to Miss Alex. Shout out to that boy Ender Man and the boy the Zombie. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. And I will say this now that I remember. That final smash, Alex. He just said a print drop, a, a, drop a, a, big, a big ass thing and flick your ass into this room and it explode. I'm just like, yo. I'm like, you, like, where do you get this stuff? But regardless, yo. Let me get a little sis up in here, man, because it is something I want to get into. Like, why, why this, why this one specifically hits me? So, little sis, gonna come on out, baby. Look, we just gonna hop right into it. Like, yo, like, yo, take a look at this right here, though. See, I, I don't know what what this mean to you, but this mean a lot to me because, see, Uncle Trip was gonna tell you the hot story. I'm gonna drop the hot knowledge. I could, I'm like, one night, mom came in the house, brought me brought me a brand new PlayStation, OG PS1. We ain't talking about the smell, we talking about the fat boy. 
Fat Boy PS1, and Namco Museum Volume 3. I ain't been the same man since. I, only reason she honestly, the only reason the boss honestly bought it so she can play Miss Pac-Man or something, which, which like, I'm like, <laughs> thank you, man. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just in the having a tear in my thinking about my mama, though, but for real, though. Like, even given that, let me wipe my head. Even given that, I swear to God, though. Like, the game that I gravitated to, like, we're, like, trying to figure out, like, how the hell the Tower of Juaga worked. And that took a while. Like, I was at, I was at school, like, I was at school, like, looking up walkthroughs, like, trying to understand, like, you have to kill a slime a certain way, and you have to walk backwards and forwards into this to open a secret door or whatever. And then understanding, like, how much Gil and even, and even Key, well, Kai is how you pronounce her name, but we're not going to get into that either. Of how much they've evolved and shout out to now go across Capcom, you know what I'm saying? Like all the stuff they've been in where Key had been the main character and things of that nature. So I'm just like, yo, it's good to see that Nanko like, yo, um, here's Gil. I'm like, I'm looking for the hero from Dragon Buster, but you know, that's another conversation for another day. But yo, I saw this and I was kinda like, word, like, yo, this straight hit. This this straight hit. I'm like, yo, it, 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 it can't get better than this. But we gonna let this rock though. We gonna let this rock out though. But it's good to see Gil in the mix though. Swear to God, like that's an actual reference to the game. One of the things you can pick up. I'm like again. Let, 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 okay, oh no. You know, let me give you a, a, a better hit, sir. Yeah. See, here's the thing. The one question. Uh, normally, and I'm wiping my head. I got. I literally got sweat in my eyes. The one thing, like. I would normally ask, if I didn't know no better, how would you make Bomberman work in a party fighter? I would then do this. I'd lean real close and I'll tell you. <clears throat> and, and, and not clear my throat and do all this and like bring it to, you know what I'm saying? And, and sit up here. And, and I would be like, Bomberman has actually been in a party fighter before. You, it's probably a lot of people, like real talk. Like real talk, that sit up here like don't have no idea what the hell DreamX TV World Fighter is, or, or for 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 my for my for my younger folks from down there a decade ago who had no idea what DreamX TV World Fighters was until one or two events happened, when Snake got announced for Brawl, and when the game grunt flated, like literally, like literally, like DreamX TV World Fighters was like this weird best kept secret that nobody really know about that mug. But then when Snake got when Snake got into Smash, people was like, "Yo, Snake is in this other game with Optimus Prime." So yeah, yeah, Snake is fighting Optimus Prime, or AKA Convoy and Megatron, who turns into a fucking gun. So it's like, well, okay, that's fine. Then you be like, "Yo, the gang girl played it," and then everybody and their mama start making videos about it. Like I'm gonna tell you right now. Tyson, mad dumb. That Dragoon, man, when he summoned Dragoon, boy, that boy mad busted. Y'all want to say the prayer and talk about mad busted? Like, literally, the 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 Barbie that came before Barbie Lincoln Chan is the most busted character in that game. Like, you y'all sit up here and say Hero was dumb. Y'all want to say, um, that Meta Knight was dumb? No, Lincoln Chan, dumb as a monkey. Rap. The Lincoln Chan is dumb. Ain't nobody from her. Like, I really don't literally think in the tier list that when it comes to Lincoln Chan, it's a distant second. She liked the S character, and it's like, man, we ain't fucking that. But I, I will say this, though. Dreamers TV World Fighters, for the record, has a very diverse roster that also includes um, Takashi Kejin. You may know him as um, the character from Adventure Island. Um, Yugo from Bloody Roar. You know what I'm saying? I did a review on this game, and it's like, it's bad to go back and watch it. I scream, what about Gato? For some reason, I do not understand. But that that, that game got a wild ass rock. They got Bebo Gumi in it, man. It got um it got a lot of characters. It got um Oscar from Side Girls in it, you know what I'm saying? For the two seconds Konami gave about that franchise, but you know. But yeah, Bomberman has been in the game, so I wonder why that, you know, even though he's an assist trophy, like why they didn't try to make it work, but I kinda understand why. But knowing that it's been done before. I just want to say that. You may continue. Oh man, I, I got on um, Bomber Man all right up there. Can we talk? Okay, before, before, because see, 
this is where your boy lost his shit right here. Because I have questions. I sit up here and I literally wonder why he's not representing No More Heroes as a brand, but as Travis himself. Because, see, if you're representing No More Heroes, it's a lot you could really do with that. Like, you could have Shinobu me costume. Like, I wouldn't mind somebody having, like, an awful destroyed man shooting crash lasers. You know what I'm saying? What am I saying? You should play No More Heroes. I'm like, if you have never played No More Heroes before, don't go play Travis Strikes again. Don't get hyped for part three. Go play part one on the Wii. Did, did you hear what I said? Part one on the Wii. Not the PS3 version. I'm like, I'm like, I'll, I'll lower that master of uh, Suda 51 say so don't even play that version, bro. Even though that even though that version has some fun stuff to look at, and it's this weird abridged version of No More Heroes 1. Is that you should play No More Heroes 1 on the Wii. It's like, it is something about experiencing No More Heroes 1 with a nunchuck and a Wiimote. And doing this to recharge the thing, it was done on purpose. And it's like, it's just, just another reason to show why Suda51 is godlike rap. Something, something Samurai Shampoo. But, you know, that's plans that I had years ago. But maybe I might actually try to, you know, actually cash in on that. But it is what it is with that. But, yo, let's watch this, though. Mm -hmm. Fuck it! <laughs> I'm serious though. I love this though. I, I love the big guitar. I love everything about this. I'm like Sylvia outfit, son. I'm like yo. I'm like, I can't wait to see what No More Hero Three gonna be done. I cannot wait. Like I, I still ain't played Travis Strikes again because I got it on a Switch, but the streets say you're supposed to get that on a PS4 on the work. So. I'm working on that. I probably need to go take a look at eBay and see what prices are for the game at this juncture so I can go ahead and get on that. But, yo, they said they said my boy Travis would never make it to Smash. But I'm like, but I really think for a lot of these, I'm like, cause I don't want to, because I often say constellation, and that's not the word I want to use. Is that there are a lot of things that interfere with what you can do, especially when you're talking about a game like Smash Ultimate. And sometimes the C word I'm looking for, concession, ladies and gentlemen, that's the word I'm looking for. The concession of better to have Travis here and representing No More Heroes than not having it at all. And I really think that this is a really dope look because, like, yo, I play a soul fighter just to play as Travis, word of God. Anarchy in the galaxy! The rarest thing in all the video games. You make a team, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me, let me, let me. Oh, and he got the shirt too. I'm like, there should be an alternate shirt with Bizarre Jelly 5 on it. And shout out to Bizarre Jelly 5. Like, yo, I remember for like two seconds, the rumor was they was literally finna make a Bizarre Jelly 5 anime, dog. And that looked like that would have been dope as fuck too. A Bizarre Jelly 5 anime film. Like, yo, that would be legit of a motherfucker. But listen, thank you very much because I think I could take the rest from here. Because the only thing that's after that, y'all, is, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, I remember. It's me. It's Amiibos, I'm sorry. And we don't get a bite. We don't get a fem bite with Amiibo, so guess who doesn't care? I I'm guessing it's the stockings. I'm guessing that's the reason Nintendo is not making a female bite with Amiibo is the stockings. And I'm kind of like... Wrong. Wrong answer. Female violence is the only reason to care about Fire Emblem, along with all the other waifus that save Fire Emblem from dying. So, you know, female violence, stockings, yes, eh. and yes, ma'am, and yes, it, and yes, days, whatever your designation is, family. But, yo, I gotta say, yo, man, this, this, was, this was on head, real rap. This was on head. I'm like, Steve looking bananas. Gil got a Gil got a me costume, bomber man in the building, and my boy Travis motherfucking touchdown in the game. What's good? What's really, really, really good? That's all I'm saying. But yo, I, I'm like, I think that's it for me, because I'm like, it ain't really nothing else to say. Like, Steve come out the 13th. 13th of this month. So if you ain't got your fighter pass or your six dollars ready to do what it does, get your cash up, get your weight up. I do wonder what the next four are going to be. They, they said by the end of next year, everything should be out. But given the craziness of the you-know-what thing and the how-how-how and the why-why-whys and the who-who-whos, who knows what it's going to be. But 
it's good to know that somebody like Monster Hero Sakurai is the head of making these things happen. Because like I said at the beginning, and I'll say it again before we get out of here, I could hear the joy in his voice. Like, you don't get that a lot. Like again, like I said, and I'll repeat it because I just want to say it. When when he did the Terry joint, that was more of a, yo, yo, little dude, take a seat. Here's something about you to be educated about, about why this is important. This was more of, I love and enjoy Minecraft. So being able to interact with something that I love and to be able to bring it to this thing that I put so much of myself in, I get to have a little fun. And I'm like, and I felt that energy and that energy made me feel a lot better because my reaction was, fucking Steve. And it's like, I don't have nothing that says that, you know, that, that I have no real attachment to Minecraft to sit up here. But again, one of the things I did before I sat down after I watched the video was I watched some of the compilation freakouts and the, oh, what the hell and all that stuff because I really wanted to really gauge where people were because I'm not the only person that exists. For me, this ain't hitting on nothing. For somebody else, I seen people talking about they, they did. I sat up here and saw what happened when Akira got announced for Street Fighter Five when it came to that. And it's like, and that's the, the gift and the curse of where we are in the world is that everybody can share what it is that they feel and however they want, whether it's in video or text or however it is they want to share, you get the opportunity to express how you feel about when things happen to you. And for this, this here for a lot of people for Steven, you got a lot of people like middle finger to the game. You got a lot of people like, yo, my heart, my heart is overflowing right now because this thing that I've always wanted is in this thing that I love. So I get it from both ends. And it's like, and that's what's important. I wasn't done with this hell as much as I thought I was. Really need to turn on the damn light. But regardless of such, we have got plenty of more show for you to place it back. Relax and stay tuned. You know me, I'm Mr. Pop That Thing, the one on Triple the GLD. You know I'm Mr. C-R-A-C-K-C-O-C-A-I-N-E. Hashtag entertainment's number one dope, man. Beat it one more time, do it! Roar! And of course, I am the baddest monster in existence, and don't you ever, ever, ever forget it. Pound that. Green Monster, my main man, Squish Murder. Hold down the congregation. Love all of y'all, man. Hold me down, man. Keep them in your prayers, man. Keep them praised up, man, because they call, they holding my six all day. Bessie, Janine, Magdalene, your girl and mine, Miss Martha, K. Miss Martha, Lee, hold down those Uno, those Thrace, and Quattro's, baby. They know what it is, man. My ladies are rage always making sure that this work get directly to you. Yo, man, everything you need, if this your first time here, is in the description below. All my social media, ways to support the show, all that good stuff. So, man, if you ain't subscribed, do that, man. Hit them bells. Do all that good stuff, man. And, again, like I say, if you want to if you wanna shout out, man, and hold me down on the little monetary tip, man, plenty of ways to do so, man. And speaking of, shout out to my main man and my brother, my partner, Hentai Ron Bomber, my boo, my boy Drew, a.k.a. Young Money Bags. Hold me down on the Patreon tip. I always appreciate the love. I'm back. Don't know how much I'm back. These things are going to be what they are, but there are going to be some changes in how we do business, so stay tuned for more information on that. With all of that being said, we have got plenty of more show. Bang! Exactly for you, and we've got it right after these <laughs> commercial messages. Who <laughs> we, man, feel good to be back, man. I'm glad. I think I needed that VK, you know what I'm saying, to get my energy right and get my energy up. But seriously, more show for all of y'all. Right after these commercial 